Hi, welcome Hello. to another one of our weekly updates on where we're up to with the service from the practice in this uh, coronavirus crisis. So it's time to start changing and modifying our procedures once again. Um, so it's important to say we're still here and we're still open. We still have vets and nurses and receptionists here for sick patients. So if you're worried that your pet is unwell, please call us and we will arrange an appointment. This may be a, a video consultation in the first instance, or it may be a, a physical come down to the practice consultation. We can offer both. As of next week, uh, which is Monday the 12th of May, we're going to start, actually as of next week, we're going to start calling in our one-year-old dogs and cats for their annual boosters. These young pets are higher risk than older animals because they haven't developed uh, immunity over a lifetime of regular boosters. So we know who you are. We have sent a batch of emails this afternoon and we also have a list. So we're going to start calling around you all and inviting you in for your boosters in the next two weeks. And um, be patient, we will get to you. The phone lines are very busy and we do know who you are. Um, we are choosing, I know that a lot of you are concerned about your, your dogs and cats who need their annual boosters. We know who you are and we are concerned too. We're going to have to prioritise our patients because we still have limited staff. We've still got a few of our staff working from home and some away on furlough. So we're going to have to start working through our patients on a risk basis. And we've chosen to start with the younger patients because they're more at risk than the older patients for the reasons I've said. So over to Glenn for more updates as of Monday the 11th of May. Yes, yeah, so uh, looking forward to getting back to a bit more normality here. Um, we're making... Uh, Next week we're starting these uh, young pet boosters. Uh, the following week, uh, on Monday the 11th of May, uh, we're making preparations for opening the reception again. Uh, that will, will make things a lot easier for, for everyone. Uh, we're putting in a lot of effort to make this as safe as we can. Similar to the chemists, uh, we'll be having a, a limited number of people in reception and, and we've uh, put up some splash screens. We've got some of these lovely uh, footprints so everyone knows how far apart two meters is just a, a helpful thing and uh, we've, we've got our own PPE so De Denny High School a lot of you may have seen here is these lovely uh, face shields um, and we've got some uh, masks as well uh, so yeah it would be good for a bit more face to face with our clients that's really valuable um, in addition to getting back to more of a normal consultation, we're going to run out probably for the next rest of the year, uh, click and collect for medications. If any of you go to Tool Station, we've been there and they seem to do it very, very well. Uh, so we're going to have uh, a click and collect window for flea and worm treatments and uh, uh, food prescription medications. Uh, so when you phone for these things, we'll give you a bit more information about that. Um, so yes, look forward to seeing you in the coming weeks. Thank you.